Okay, hello everyone, it's Salar and we are in part 29 of our tutorial, a tutorial to writing a real-time operating system. In previous parts, I've talked about local variable, argument, and return value. And now, you know that all of this data, these data located, has been loc have been located in your stack memory and registered especially local variables have been located in stack memory now you know where are your local variables in your memory but in this part i want to talk about i want to start to talk about global variables and where does your compiler and linker locate your global variable what is a global variable as I said before, if you have a variable in body of your function, you have a local variable. But if you have a variable outside body of your function, you have a global variable. You know that your local variable has been located in your stack uh, of your SRAM. Okay, but where are your local variables in your memory? In this part, I want to answer to this question by details. Okay, let's go to answer to these questions. I have a question and it's a straightforward and clear question. How does your code or compiler or linker uh, have access to global variables? Okay, or where are your local variables in your memory? Let's to see an example in Eclipse. And debug or project as you can see I have a global variable I want to in the body of my function I want to put um, the address of my global variable address of my global variable to local variable and see and inspect where is my global variable in my code let's do, build my project and start to debugging this project so let's run this line and put the address of this variable global variable in local variable so let's to see the content of this variable my loop as you can see as you can see here the address of my global variable is in local variable okay and the address of my global variable is here and it's not in the range of stack uh, in, not in the range of stack memory in my microcontroller okay so where are your local variable and how your compiler and linker allocate memory to your global variable the question is clear okay to answer to this question where is your local global variable you need to know what is a section in object file and executable file in this part I want to just talk about objects section in objects okay in next part I will talk about section in executable file okay but in this part I want to just talk about section in object file and what does a linker really do okay let's do answer to these questions what is a section in object file section is a part of code your instructions data your variables and meta metadata some data that your tool chain uses to uh, compile and link your codes okay so let's do give you a real example in gcc okay in this directory i have a project and i have in my project i have two source files main.c and solar.c and i want to compile my project with this make file make file like before okay creating all of object files and link them together okay so here is my main file a main function a global variable that have that has this content this value and global variable plus plus and in solar I have another global variable global variable of solar and a bodiless function 
Okay, let's do make this project with make file. Make clean and make my project. Okay, I have no error in compiling and linking, and my uh, project has been built. Okay, so here I have two object files. One for main.c and one for salar.c. Let's to see the content of this object files with object dump tools. Okay. Arm object dump with dash capital D and first main.c. As you can see, I have two sections this assembly of text, the text section and the data section i have some other sections but these sections are not important to us in this time okay these two sections in this time are important to us okay first dot text section your assembler and your compiler put all of your instructions okay encoded instructions in dot text section okay and your variables your global variables okay in dot data section in gcc and programming and other compilers and tool chains we have some other sections for example dot bss dot r data and other sections but in this part i want to just talk about these two sections dot text section and dot data section okay another time run this command for salar dot o Another time for salar.o, I have a text section that in this text, this section, I have my instructions, my code, and in data section, I have my variables. Okay, so your object files, it's not a dump file and is not an unstructured file, and an object file is a structured file. Okay and all of your data and information in your object file has a specific structure okay so you have your instructions in that text and your global variable in that data okay so the section is a part of code data or metadata um, a few slides ahead, I will talk about metadata sections, okay? But here I just give you some example about code and data, okay? Section is a part in your object file, okay? You have sections in your executable file, but in this part I just want to talk about object files and global variables, okay? So, another, another time, I repeat my question how does your linker allocate memory to global variables where are your global variables okay I should say linker allocate memory to global variables okay not your compiler and assembler in the last part of your building and last part of building your project linker in linking stage linker allocate memory to global variables but what does a linker do in linking a stage to answer to this question i will talk about i want to talk about symbol resolution combine object files to each other okay all of object files and for example library and libraries you know that libraries are object files okay so your linker do symbol resolution combine object files and relocation in this part i want to just talk about combine object files and relocation and in the next part i will talk about symbol resolution and what is symbol resolution okay but in this time i want to talk about combine object files and libraries and relocation relocation is the most important most important job of your linker let's to see what is objecting combining object files and relocation as i said for example in your main.c and main.o file object files you have some sections 
dot text section for code and the data section for example for data and global variable another time for solar.c you have code and data and your linker want to combine all of your codes to each other and put them in flash okay you need to put all of your instruction in a non-volatile memory in flash memory first your linker combine all of your text sections and put them and in your flash memory and allocate address to these sections from flash memory by using a linker script file let's to see my linker script here i have a linker script for my project okay here as you can see i have a on chip flash memory and sram in my microcontroller and flash and sram have base address and size okay by using a linker script i will talk about linker script in future parts okay but in this time i want to give you some information about linker script okay as you can see i have a dot text section here is a dot text section in your executable file but linker by using of this file and combine all of the text section okay and put them in a, a overall the text section and put all of them in your flash memory okay i will talk about um, about all of other sections in future parts okay but you know um, according to this file you know that your linker put all of your dot text section in your flash of your microcontroller okay in flash of your microcontroller or for uh, variables your linker combine all of that data section in one data section and put all of them in your ram okay in your sram okay so first your linker first combine all of the text file text section and put them in flash and all of data sections and put them in your sra okay the start of your flash for example in my microcontroller is here and the start of my sram in my microcontroller is in this address okay so after that after allocating memory to these sections your linker should do relocation but what is relocation so let's to see the c file source file of this assembly code as you can see in my project in my main.c i have a file c file i have a main function i have a global variable the value of global variable is f f in hexadecimal and i want to uh, add this global variable by one okay global variable plus plus i want to run this um, line in my processor okay so here is the assembly file assembly code of this instruction let's to see the content of object file main dot for example arm object dot slash b main dot as you can see i have my main function and i have my global variable okay i have all of these data in this uh, slide as you can see i have some information in this address assume that you should have in this address address of global variable but here i have zero but assume that when you want your process when your processor wants to run this code your processor must have the address of global variable in this cell of memory but let's do inspect this memory as you know by these instructions your processor 
create your function activation uh, activation record function frame and with this instructions delete activation record okay but with these five instruction your processor do does global variable plus plus okay we have five instruction for global variable plus plus okay first your processor mm, load from this address pc plus 16 to register r3 as i said in pc relative addressing in uh, uh, previous parts this instructions this instruction follow this formula align for of this address okay this address plus 4 plus 16 okay align uh, this address is 4 align 4 of 4 is 4 plus 4 plus 16 is 24 equal to 0 x 18 okay this address so first load the value of this value to register R3. What is this value? This value must be the global variable address. Okay. After that, with this instruction, read the value of global variable and put them in register R3. Okay. With this address, with global variable address. After that, global variable plus plus. Another time, put the value plus plus global variable plus plus in global variable. Another time for this instruction, outline four of a plus four plus twelve. Outline four of a is eight plus four plus twelve is mm, twenty four. Another time equal to zero. Another time, read the address of global variable put in R2 and write the value of global plus plus in global variable okay here uh, in this way your processor do this line of your code okay but as you can see here is zero and here is not the address of global variable okay so what is relocation changing this value to the real address of global variable known as relocation okay what is relocation changing this value to the real address of global variable why why your compiler doesn't know what is the real address of global variable and put puts here zero because when you want to compile your code your compiler doesn't know where is this data in your memory okay in combining object files in linking a stage in combining object files in linking a stage your pro, uh, your linker allocate a memory to this section so when your compiler compile your code and create assembly file doesn't know what is the real address of your global variable okay so after compiling and after assembling when you have object file to linking all of your object files together your linker have to do relocation put real address of global variable in this cell of your memory okay so this is the concept of relocation okay we have another types of relocation and i will talk about some of that in next part okay but here is a concept of relocation because of your, comp uh, your compiler doesn't know 
the allocated memory of your sections, your data section or other sections, your linker has to do relocation, has to do relocation for your object file. Okay, here is relocation. But let's do give you some more detail about relocation. Okay, how your compiler does relocation. Let's give you more detail. To do relocation, your linker need some metadata. Some metadata, okay? Some metadata about your code to do relocation. One of that is symbol table. That uh, all of your symbol tables located in this section. Dot symbol table, okay? For example, in main object files, uh, let's to see all of sections with this uh, sorry with this uh, command and this option dash t you can see all of your sections in your object file for example for main that's all. as you can see you have that text section that data section and other section and you have that symbol table section okay your assembler create this metadata to do relocation okay uh, to and give them to linker to do relocation okay so for each symbol or label in your assembly file the assembler creates symbol in try one of this structure and put them in symbol table so what is label or symbol in assembly file let's give you an example okay clear this screen ls as you can see i have main that's i want to create assembly file of this uh, c file to do that you can use gcc what is the cpu name cpu name equal to Cortex M7 and to create assembly file you should add this option dash capital S like before from main.c and put that in main.s capital S okay now I have an assembly file for this source file okay let's just see the content of this assembly file I have that here main.s as you can see i have an assembly file i simplified this file i've simplified this file before in this file okay simplified to this file i deleted some mm, useless information useless information for this part okay as you can see I have two label main dot global label. I have another label, for example, l dot l three and dot l four. But because of this dot l, your assembler doesn't create an int try for these labels in symbol table. So I have two label main and global variable in my assembly file. As I said, for each symbol or label in assembly file, okay. I will have an int try in my symbol table. How can I see my symbol table in object file with this command and dash s option? Okay, main dot o. As you can see, I have some int try in my symbol table. Okay, two of them is important to us: global variable, global variable and main okay it's created by assembler according to these labels okay but other intries of this symbol table uh, is not important to us now okay so let's to talk about uh, these informations for each of labels okay Let's do back to our slides. As you can see, for each label, I have a name. Okay? For each label, I have a name. Global variable and main. Okay? After that, for each label, 
I will have a value. What is value offset to the base address of section? Okay, address to the base address of its section. Mm, for example, main is in text section. What is the offset? Let's do another time the object file. Here is the text section. Okay, and here is the base, uh, the address to the base. The address is zero, but here is one because of thumb instruction you will have a one in the bit zero of this value okay if you have arm instruction in other processor uh, you have zero in this value this one is related to thumb uh, instructions okay another time for that data section okay uh, global variable is in that data section and the value offset to the base address of section is for data here is a start of data and the offset to the base is zero okay another time for global variable is zero okay so other informations you have the size of your object size of integer object is 4 and size of your function is 20 bytes okay after that you have a type and binding i will talk about binding in next slide with more detail next part with more detail okay but what is type type is a data or function or other things okay for example for main is a function and global variable is a variable and data for variable and data you will have object okay let's to see assembly file and see that for example for global variable the type of global variable is object and for main main is in that text section okay and the type of main is function okay so the type of global variable is object and type of main is function the size of global variable is 4 and the size of main calculated by this directive okay so you have size type and uh, what is binding let's give uh, an information about binding binding uh, binding shows or your variable your global variable or your function is local or global if for example in your mm, main.c you define static variable your variable is local what is a static variable a static global variable you can just use uh, this variable global variable when you have a static variable just in main.c file okay and you can't use that in another source files other source files okay so here is local or global i will talk about local and global in next part mm. what is another information uh, another information is uh, section section of your object for example the section of main function is in section one section one is a text section and section of global variable in is in three section that data section okay so for each of your global variables uh, sorry for each of your labels you will have some information in your uh, symbol table in your object file and your linker will use this symbol table to do relocation but your linker needs more information what what is that it's relocation in try what is relocation in try 
Another time is a data structure that's created by assembler and will be used by linker to do relocation and will be written in that rel.txt section. Another time, let's to see all of sections in my file. As you can see, I have it. That rel.txt. I have some other metadata in this section, and your linker will use this information to do relocation. But what is relocation in try? As you can see, I need to do. Mm, let's see. There we go. I need to do relocation for this part of my object file. So for this um, relocation, I need to have a relocation in try in my section. Okay. What is the content of relocation in try? First offset. What is offset? Offset to the base. For example, here 18 to the base of text section. Okay. I will, your linker, uh, your assembler will put this offset, okay, to this part of your relocation in try, okay. A relocation in try for the text section and offset to the text section is 0x18. So, in this part of your section, Your linker must do a relocation, a relocation, okay? So, what is another information uh, in relocation in try? Another 32-bit number and first byte of this number info is relocation type. What is relocation type? I uh, talked about one type of relocation in this slide. But you have uh, other, uh, other types of relocation. If you want to see all of relocation types, you can study this document from ARM, ELF for ARM architecture, and search for relocation and try. Uh, relocation and try. Sorry, search for relocation types. Relocation types. You have some relocation types for ARM processor, okay? But uh, what is the relocation type for this example? If you want to see relocation in try, you can see that with another time arm elf read elf and dash r option you can see all of your relocation in try in object file main that's all you have one relocation in try for global value okay what is the offset 18 okay you need to do a relocation here what is the type of relocation is here r let's do copy that and search for that here as you can see the type of relocation is type number two okay so you will have in first byte number two the type of relocation and another information symbol index and index to symbol table and index to symbol table to global variable okay for example here the symbol is a in hexadecimal or 10 let's do another sign see the symbol table read elf dash s for main dot o 10 okay a or 10 10 and index to this table for global variables okay so you need to your linker need to symbol table and relocation and try to do relocation let's to see 
or example another time to do relocation to do relocation after combining object files your linker read this section relocation.txt and your linker now want to do a relocation in the text section in offset 18 the text section in offset 18 your linker need to do a relocation in this address relocation symbol index you should add the address of this symbol what is this symbol in your symbol table is global variable should put the address of global variable in this address so read the symbol table and this line of symbol table for global variable okay uh, what is the section of this global variable is in the data section of main so after doing combine object files your linker now where is the data section of main.c in your memory okay now the base address of that data section of main.c in your memory so your linker now what is the base address of that data in main.c base address okay and add that with this value okay need the address of this section and uh, your global variable located in this offset offset zero plus zero so the base address of that data in main.c plus this value in your symbol table is address of global variable okay address of global value so your linker now the address of global variable so put that in this address okay put this address in this address and now your relocation has been done okay so by using a relocation in try and symbol table in try okay for global variable for global variable your linker do relocation put the address of global variable in this part of your memory okay now your processor can do these instructions and do global variable plus plus so now you know what is the concept of uh, relocation we have other types of relocation and i will talk about them in the next part and i will give you more information about linking a stage in next part so now you know your global variable is located in your sram okay in a part of your sram and your linker set the address of your variable set the address of your global variable so now you know how does your linker uh, sorry how does your linker allocate memory to global variable okay so um, enough for today and i will see you in the next part thank you very much to see me Thank you very much.